on on there. Hey, what do you think about that Memphis Catholic game? I think that they played much better than Laurel Highland, but if Piandre's in the game, it's much more competitive. You know, the junior pal play on something. Mama told my brother and I that it's the same thing. This is what they're going to do. Now, I say they play aggressive, but you they call 30 fouls on Union Town, they call fouls on them. I mean, Union Town, I think they came out flat anyway. Yeah. I mean, and not that the team wasn't better. But I said, you know, they're going to do the same thing with Laurel. They, they, they run that weave. And they only had three, layups, layups, and then they shoot. They only had three turnovers the whole game. So how, can you, how can you play man up defense like that? Press all over the floor and only get like that. They didn't have it many against Paul Holland, did they? No. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was weird. Fifteen minutes. So it's 
only 6.33 now, right. another 10 minutes. I'm going to grab a water. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's on it.
It's time for another C. Harper Auto Group High School Sports Night here on WMBS and Facebook Live. Exclusive digital coverage of Uniontown Red Raider Boys Basketball on the WMBS Facebook page and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Hello, everyone. Gary Frank Kowser, along with Mr. Dice on the camera. And we bring you tonight's game between the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Hamplin Talberts playing game for the PIAA positioning. Tonight's game is brought to you by Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, George Dental Associates, SWGI in Uniontown, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the Centers for Rehab Services and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides, Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer, Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke, Joby's Golf, Zen's Construction Warehouse, Russ Blaho, your local Allstate insurance agent. Dr. Bob Baker, candidate for Fayette County Coroner. Peachens Pharmacy, Cherokee, Re Cherokee Recycling, Autoland Hyundai, the law offices of Zebley, Mahalov, and White. Two Hands, Wash and Fold, Magisterial District Judge Nate Henning, Sandy Howe, Notary Services, Z's Ground Control, and Big Al's Market. Now stay tuned for the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show here on the WMBS Facebook page and on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. SWGA GI and U.S. Digestive Health is now Southwestern Endoscopy Center, part of the U.S. Digestive Health. If you have a close family member with colon cancer or precancerous polyps, your screening should begin at age 40 instead of 45. Learn more at usdigestivehealth.com. Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke, there's nothing better than those winter nights in the gym rooting on our Red Raiders. Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke, during his first term, rehabilitated Bailey Park, started working on the Uniontown section of the Sheepskin Trail, eliminated blight, and rebuilt our neighborhoods. Work has just begun. That's why Mayor Bill Garkey is announcing his plans to run for a second term as mayor in the city of Uniontown. This message is brought to you and paid for by Mayor Bill Garkey. The pregame show is brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and Insurance David Hughes. They will get you ready for the game. They are located at 217 West Main Street in Uniontown. Phone. 724-437-9812 for the Sprouse Insurance Group. The live video stream is courtesy of Movement Physiotherapy and the law offices of Zebley, Mahalif, and White. Let's take a look at our starting lineups for tonight's contest. About 18 minutes away from tip here at the Uniontown Red Raider gym as the Red Raiders come out for their final warm-ups. For the visiting, Hampton Talberts under cho coach Joe Lafko. Starting at one of the guards, number 10, Brendan Murray. He's a senior. Number 11, Jason McKeekin. He's a senior also. Number 20, Liam McNogna. He's a junior. Number 21, Eric Weeks, a senior. And number 33, Robert Call, a junior for the Hampton Talbots. Coming off the defeat to Lincoln Park and the Red Raiders coming off the victory over Bell Vernon to earn them the opportunity here this evening. The starters for Uniontown under coach Rob Kazmarski, 19 and four overall, nine and one in section 3A, co-champions in the section with the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. A sophomore guard, five foot 10, wearing double zero, notorious grooms. Number two, Calvin Winfrey, Winfrey, a 5'11 sophomore guard. Number four, Kadrian McClee, a 6'5 junior forward. Number five, Bakari Wallace, a 5'10 senior guard. And number 11, Levi Garner, the 6'6 senior forward, getting the start here this evening in place of Jameer Braxton. Jameer has been cleared to play, and talking to Coach Kazmarski before the contest, he indicated that Braxton would see some playing time but he has elected to put Levi Garner into the lineup at the starting position. Levi playing a strong game against Bell Vernon last Saturday. Tonight's game is brought to you, and the broadcast rights are 
the sole and exclusive property of the WPIAL, WMBS, and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Any broadcast of this game is intended exclusively for the benefit of the viewing and listening audience, and any use, rebroadcast, or distribution of this broadcast without the express written consent for the WPIL and WMBS, along with Trib Total Media, is strictly prohibited. This legal disclaimer is brought to you by Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, helping people with their legal matters since 1976. Phone Davis and Davis at 724-437-2799. About 16 minutes away from the opening tip here at Coach Abe Everhart Memorial Gymnasium at Uniontown High School. Take the opportunity to tell you about a few more of our sponsors here on Facebook Live, WMBS, and Trib Live High School Sports Network. Kilby's Golf, where you can go these days to have your gas pump for you. Oil check and windshield clean. Kilby's Golf, that's where you go for those services. Kilby's Golf is located on the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard in Uniontown. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, general repairs, tie repair, state inspections, and 24-hour AAA towing services. Phone 724-438-0681 for Joby's Golf. Zen's Construction Warehouse. Shop the February sale and now the March sale at Zen's Construction Warehouse on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Family owned and operated by the Nelson family, Zens has everything you need for that next home improvement project at deep discounted prices. 724-366-8274 is the number to call for Zens Warehouse on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Zens Construction Warehouse, our surplus is your savings. February was heart month for Autoland Hyundai. Now, new deals for March at Autoland Hyundai. Hyundai is showing where their heart is while thinking of every mile with their customers. The new 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz SEL Premium has available 1,000 mile bonus cash and 1,000 HMF bonus cash plus full efficiency. Lease the new 2023 Hyundai Venue SE for only $199 per month for 36 months. Autoland Hyundai, downtown Uniontown. See them online at autolandhyundai.com. Remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Zebley Mahalif and White, one of our video stream sponsors. Local lawyers handling local problems. Whether it's bankruptcy, criminal law, social security disability, or a variety of other legal issues, Zebley, Mahalif, and White provide services aimed to resolve their clients' needs. 724-439-9200 or visit zeblaw.com. Dr. Bob Baker is running for Fayette County Coroner. He would like to wish the Uniontown Red Raiders the best of luck in tonight's contest. Dr. Baker has the training, experience, commitment, and dedication to serve as your next Fayette County Coroner, Dr. Bob Baker. Cherokee Recycling. When you're looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturdays, 8 till noon. Close Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. Nate Henning, the Magisterial District Judge. Nate Henning would like to wish the best of luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders tonight and all of our local teams in both the WPIAL playoffs and now the PIAA playoffs this year. Go Red Raiders from Magisterial District Judge Nate Henning. 
Two hands, wash and fold is Uniontown's newest wash and fold laundry service. Full scale washing and dry cleaning service is located on East Fayette Street in Uniontown. Two Hands also features a boba tea lounge, coffee bar, and game room. Phone 724-557-1571 for Two Hands Wash and Fold with delivery and pickup available. 724-557-1571. Russ Blaho is your local Allstate agent. Contact Russ for a free quote. For home and car insurance near you, located on Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, you can call Russ Blaho at 724-439-9700. Remember, you're in good hands with Russ Blaho and Allstate. Dandy House Notary Service provides notary services, vehicle title registration and transfers in the Smithfield and surrounding areas. You can get Sandy Howe Notary Services at 724-564-8955 or stop by and see them on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield. Special hello to Ed Walensky. He's always watching our broadcast tonight from Sandy Howe Notary Services. Peach and Pharmacy, it looks like COVID may be with us for a while, so it's time to order your free at-home COVID test, so that will... You will have them when you need them. Peach's Pharmacy can help you get your free COVID test. Just call 724-626-9600. That's 724-626-9600 for Jim Capuzzi and his staff at Peach and Pharmacy. You can always stop in Peach and Pharmacy inside the Peach and Market in Connellsville. These ground control, spring is around the corner. You know what that means. It's time to start thinking about your lawn care and landscaping needs for the upcoming season. Z's Ground Control is here to help you. If you are interested in having Z's Ground Control perform your outdoor services, such as mowing, trimming, fertilizing, or landscaping, and any installation and maintenance, you can call Z's Ground Control now for your free, no obligation estimate at 724 724- 366-9150. Take back your summer. Let Z's Ground Control take care of your outdoor needs this year. That's Z's Ground Control at 724-366-9150. Big Al's Market. Stop by Big Al's Market on North Gallatin Avenue in Uniontown. Family owned and operated by Phil Lucioni and Dominic Sabatini. Big Al's features two one-topping peaches and a two-liter for $21.99. Or try an Italian hoagie and a 20-ounce drink for $6.99. Big Al's Market, 72 North Gallatin Avenue here in Uniontown. Their phone is 724-550-4252. Big Al's Market. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community. They treat sports injuries, neurological conditions, back sprains, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and a lot of other conditions that may be causing you problems. You can call the office with a prescription from your doctor or scheduled by direct access and they can contact your doctor for you. Jim Burns at UPMT Centers for Rehab Services at 724-437-7500. Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides knows there's nothing more exciting than high school sports. He knows all the athletes worked hard to be competitive, plus maintain their study skills. Commissioner Vince Facides, Vince Facides salutes all the young contestants in their efforts, good luck. And may the best team prevail from Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides. Looking for a dentist, Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates and Uniontown Staple have over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. 
Their caring professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range, full range of dental services. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today and find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. First Federal of Greene County, be prepared for the cold with the help of First Federal Savings and Loan of Greene County with a home improvement loan, a home equity loan, or home equity line of credit. You can finally upgrade that old furnace. And with the improving weather, all other outside improvements to your home. Take care of that leaking roof, replace those outdoor outdated floors, fix the patio, whatever you want. Apply online at ffgs.bank. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 458729. Attorney Thomas Schaefer litigated over 270 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. His firm concentrates in wills, trust, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field, and Marcellus Gas negotiations along with family law, small enough to care and smart enough to win. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer. And finally, Davis and Davis Attorneys of Law. We've been representing people and not insurance companies since 1976. Our lawyers have experience in litigating or settling personal injury claims, medical malpractice cases, wrongful death actions together with domestic real estate, workers' compensation, and municipal law experience. Throughout the decades of work, Davis & Davis has successfully represented thousands of cases in local, state, and federal courts. You can contact us at Davis & Davis at 724-437-2799. Gary Frank Kauser, along with Billy Dice on the camera. We're just about ready for high school basketball action, about four and a half minutes away from the start of tonight's contest. Quick turnaround for the Hampton Talbots, having played Lincoln Park on Monday night. Very competitive game with Lincoln Park, meaning that number one ranked team had to come right back here Wednesday to play the Uniontown Red Raiders, who were successful in their playing game against Bell Vernon last Saturday. Big game by the Uniontown Red Raiders with their guards, notorious grooms, Calvin Winfrey, inside play by Kadri McClee, Bakari Wallace, and Levi Garner. The Red Raiders, as usual, are deep, coming off the bench with Davian Richardson, Tanner Uphold, and tonight, Jameer Braxton will be coming in off the bench as he is coming off the hip injury that he sustained against North Catholic in their quarterfinal game down at Norwin last week. So Braxton seems to be doing well out there in warm-ups. He's shooting the three, does not have any noticeable limp or hitch in his giddy up. So we'll expect Braxton to be in the contest tonight. Hampton playing out of that tough section with Lincoln Park, North Catholic, have come into tonight's contest, as I said, fresh off that loss to Lincoln Park on Monday night under Coach Joe Lafko. We remember Coach Lafko from his days at Frazier, and he has the Hampton Talbots playing at a very high level. Hampton shows some size inside with number 20, Liam McNogna. He'll be a challenge for the Red Raiders on the rebounding scale, but Red Raiders have been successful with Kadri McClee, Jameer Braxton, and even the guards, Grooms, Winfrey, and Wallace chipping in to maintain some rebounding balance for the Uniontown Red Raiders. So Coach Ketsmarski will certainly be looking for some action on the defensive boards to limit the Hampton Talbot's opportunity. Hampton is a very good shooting team. They've shown that throughout the season. We'll see Eric Weeks, number 21, setting up the three-pointers. Number 33, Robert Cole. Also a junior 
shooting from the outside. Number 10, Brennan Murray. Number 11, Jaden McKeekin will provide the offensive spark for the Hampton Talbots. So with about a minute and a half to go here before the tip, we want to remind you that the scoreboard coverage is brought to you by Peach's Pharmacy. Peach's Pharmacy is the, in downtown Connellsville, Peach Market. And we'll be trying to update you on the Laurel Highland score throughout the evening. As you are watching the live stream here of the Uniontown Red Raiders. Whole crowd is built here at Uniontown. Impressive crowd of faithful here for the Uniontown Red Raiders. The student section is almost filled to capacity. We have the uh, Hampton Talbots bringing some fans down from north for this contest. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. And we're going to have it here for you on WMBS Facebook Live and the Trib Live High School Sports Network, another C. Harper Auto Group High School Sports Night. By means of the talent of the fans, like the students, as well as representing the community and the dignity and pride. We can give the students happiness with positive encouragement and support. Any unwilling behavior, sexist, racial, or ethnic comments, abusive or foul language, or taunting a player, coaches, or officials will not be tolerated and put the people from this event. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise and remove your hat? For the singing of our national anthem by Uniontown Junior, Jaden Colmeyer. And bright stars through the perilous midnight. Lord, we feel a worship worship gallant we sing. Jaden with the National Anthem, excellent effort. PA announcer for once again introducing our starting lineups for the Hampton Talbots. Brennan Murray wearing number 10. McKeekin. Eric Weeks, Mia McNogna, Robert Call, Center. Bakari Wallace sporting the fluorescent green and pink shoes here this evening. He'll, he won't be hard to pick out. Notorious Grooms, one of the dynamic sophomores for 
The Uniontown Red Raiders along with Calvin Winfrey. Here we go. Have a good one, Ben. Officiating crew ready to roll. Jumping center for the Uniontown Red Raiders will be Levi Garner. And for the Hampton Talbots, Liam McNogna. McNogna, about six foot seven. Garner, six foot six. Left to right, Hampton, right to left, Uniontown in the home white. Controlled by Hampton, quickly to the hoop. Fake and up, in and out. That time, unable to score was Brennan Murray. Down with the rebound is Garner. Here comes Winfrey, and he's going to dribble that. I'm sorry, that's Bakari Wallace. Just lost it out of bounds. Full court pressure now being applied by Uniontown. 2-2-1, two, two, patented press, zone press. Get it up to court. Again, off the glass, no good. This time, Wallace with the rebound. Trying to bring it down himself. Kick it in out to the grooms. Thought about the three. Now, Wallace will take the three. In and out, hard luck. McNogdo with the rebound for Hampton. Lit on the hoop for both squads here so far. Two unsuccessful chances by Halbert, Talbots and two by the Red Raiders. Now motion offense, stolen away, turnover. Back to the Red Raiders. Winfrey bring it ahead. Rooms to the hoop, pass to Garner. Rooms to Garner for the first two. So in the transition, Uniontown successful. Now back comes Hampton on top to Murray. Murray to McNogna on the high left wing. Number 33 is Paul. Look for number 11, that's McKeekin. Now, number 21 is Weeks. Eric Weeks being guarded there by Winfrey. Man-to-man -man defense by the Uniontown Red Raiders. Patient offense by Hampton. Now Weeks with the jumper gets hit in the head. That time, little touch foul, but it was contact there by Calvin Winfrey onto the head of Eric Weeks. That's Calvin's first team first. Going to send Weeks to the line for two. 6.28 to go here in the first. Almost two minutes in. Weeks can first to first. Weeks trying to tie things up here now as we look at the Laurel Highland score. Early 10 point lead for the Mustangs. Weeks hits the second, 21 11, up at Laurel Highlands. Calvin Winfrey will control up top. Swing it around to the right side. Fakes the pass to Grooms. Will Control it himself. Now it gets it to Wallace. Wallace to McLean. Block at the hoop there by McNogna. Now ahead to McNogna. He scores it at the hoop. The big man running the court gets the block and the score. And now Bakari Wallace quickly back for the Red Raiders. Makes it a tie at four. Thought better of it there was Murray. He'll bring it back out and reset. Nogda looking for the cutters coming across the lane. Weeks now at the elbow, pass inside. Nogda thought about the three, but gets it right out on top to Weeks. Brendan Murray, Weeks, high right wing, guarded there by Wall. Wow, hits the screen by McNogna. In and out, no good. Now we got a foul. I think that's a defensive rebounding foul by number 33. That's going to be on Hall, his first, team first. Possession to Uniontown. Winfrey on top. Started there by McKeegan. Wallace puts it on the floor, takes it to the hoop. And scored again for Bakari among the trees. 
Six four Uniontown. Easily breaking the press that time was Hampton. Three on the way. Count it for Jaden McKeekin. First three of the contest gives Hampton their first lead at seven to six. Now Winfrey stops and pops at the elbow. Gets the support above the banking board, so that's out of bounds. Back to Hampton. Hampton now facing a man-to-man -man pressure by the Uniontown Red Raiders. Lee all the way in the backcourt, providing pressure. McNogna over to McKeekin inside, unable to score it. No foul called at the rim there was Eric Weeks. Brooms driving baseline. Skip it out to Wallace. He tries to take it in. Now McClee will regain control back to Wallace. Wallace, foul line, jumper, knocked away and blocked that time by Murray. Murray will try to take it himself to the hoop. He scores it. Brennan Murray gives Hampton a three-point lead at 9-6. to six. 3.56 to go here in the first. Winfrey to Wallace. Braxton trying to check in at the U Uniontown side of the court as Wallace will take the three. It's short. Good box out there by the Hampton defenders. Coming up the rebound was Brendan Murray. Very few stops here in the first quarter. End-to-end -end action. Now nice pass inside. In and out. Unable to finish that time was Eric Weeks on a beautiful pass by McNogna. Brooms now to Garner. Looked like he was hit on the arm as we as he went to the hoop, but no foul called. And substitutions now on both sides of the court as Braxton will come in for Garner. Wallace will take a break in favor of the Red Raiders uphold. McClee with the rebound. Winfrey no good, but Wallace will. I'm sorry, that's McClee will clean it up. Cuts the lead to one. On the court for Hampton is number two, Alex Dialis to the hoop and scoring it uncontested that time was Murray. He has four first quarter points. 11-8 as Winfrey tries to slice through that defense. And Winfrey unsuccessful, but gets his own rebound. Now Grooms across to Braxton, who just checked in. Looks like he's okay. Stolen away. Murray with the interception. Being guarded there by Uphold. Putting offense by Hampton. Also in the lineup there is Braxton Easley. Number 30, who just checked in. Almost a travel. Now we got a offensive foul underneath as taking the charge in the lane was Calvin Winfrey. And that's going to be a call on number two, Alex Nialis. It's his first, team second. Groom's looking for a screen. He'll back it back out, gets it in the corner to uphold. He'll take the three. That's going to be short. McClee working his way in, can't get it to go. Uphold can't get the tip to go. Three opportunities, but Braxton comes out with it. Grooms will try the three. No good. Four opportunities at the hoop. None successful for the Red Raiders. Hampton comes back with the 11-8 lead. Murray looking. For help, gets it in the form of Eastley. Eastley to Weeks. He just cut through the lane. That motion offense by Hampton. Patient with this offense. Not in any hurry to take a shot. Now, Green at the top of the lane, no good. But the roller goes in for Nialis. 13-8, Hampton on top. Mustangs on top, 32 to 19 across the town. Winfrey for three, up off the rim, no good. Rebound by Weeks, so 
A little bit of cold shooting for the Red Raiders as we approach the last minute of the first quarter. Just eight points for Uniontown. Very uncharacteristic. Nialis gets it to Eastley. On top now to Murray. Being guarded there by Uphold. 30 seconds to go. Might see Hampton hold for one here. Nialis being guarded by Winfrey. Now Murray. Back out to McKeekin. Braxton on him. Just 16 seconds remaining in the quarter now. Hampton will be holding for one at this point. Weeks guarded by Grooms. Almost has it stolen. Gets it in the corner now to Murray. He'll drive to the hoop with the roller. No good. Winfrey with the rebound. Kick the shot off. Would not have counted regardless. At the end of one, it's Hampton 13, Uniontown 8. We'll be back here on WMBS and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. It's the C. Harper Auto Group High School Sports Night. Our player of the game is brought to you by Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides. We'll have that selection at the end of the contest. The post-game show will be brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon running again for South Union Township Supervisor. Some of our sponsors, Autoland Hyundai in Uniontown, showing where their heart is while thinking of every mile with their customers. The new 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz SEL Premium has available $1,000 HMF bonus cash plus fuel efficiency. Lease the new 2023 Hyundai Venue SE for only $199 per month for 36 months. Autoland Hyundai, downtown Uniontown. See them online at autolandhyundai.com. Remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Uniontown with the possession coming out here in the second quarter. Bakari to the rack was swatted away that time by the big man, Liam McNogna. Out of bounds underneath. Wallace, Braxton in the corner. He's not afraid to take the three, and he will way off the mark. McNogna saves it in to Murray. So the Red Raiders cold shooting continues here to start the second. Try to go to the hoop there was McKeekin. Cut off by Braxton nicely. Weeks across to Nialis. Now Murray. Guarded there by Bakari Wallace. Wallace of the neon shoes in the corner. Three on the way. No good. And that's going to be Hampton Ball knocked out of bounds there by Garner and Winfrey. Three-pointer from the corner by Weeks. High off the rim, but the Red Raiders unable to secure that rebound. McNogna now inside, and he is hammered to the court. Let's see who they're going to call that on. They're calling it on Winfrey from behind. That's going to be the second foul on Calvin. Not a good thing for the Uniontown Red Raiders. Looks like that could have been called on either Winfrey or Garner. McNogna at the line for two. It's the first. Gives him three, three for three at the line for Hampton as Calvin was going to have to go to the bench with those two fouls early here in the second. Just one minute in. Second one good also. Looking at the score for the Union uh, Laurel Highlands. Like Highlands has cut that lead to four at 32 to 28. Grooms now will drive the lane, try to get it to Garner, take it away. Aaron pass picked up by Hampton, so another turnover for the Red Raiders, trailing now by seven. Drive and shot at the elbow that time by McKeekin, unsuccessful, but an offensive rebound by 
Hampton knocked out of bounds that time by Uniontown. We'll stay with the Talbots underneath the hoop. Checking back in is going to be Robert Call for this time a key can take a break. Bringing it in is Murray. Looking, looking, gets it to Weeks in the corner. Almost stolen away there by Wallace. On top to Niles. McNogda took the dribble. Can't dribble again. Over to Cole. Murray now looking for someone in the cutting lane. Gets it to Weeks as he pops out right wing. Big screen there against Wallace. Now the roll, and they're going to have a foul called in the lane this time by Bakari Wallace. Oh, they call it on Garner. So the foul must have been the body contact underneath by Levi Garner. So that's going to be his first team foul number three against the Red Raiders. Week three for three at the line. 16 to 8. Uniontown digging a little bit of a hole here. Seventeen to eight. Weeks perfect at the line. Six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Brooms looking to get in the offense. Wallace drives. Gets it back to Braxton. A little bit of a zone look now. Box in one looks like for Hampton as Bakari will go to the rim with a beautiful reverse move there by Bakari Wallace. The first two points of that quarter for the Red Raiders. Now the press by Uniontown, try to create some turnovers. Three on the way, counted for Murray. And now we're gonna have the net caught up. So a three pointer by Murray makes the score now 20 to 10. Uniontown trailing by 10. Brooms gets it to Winfrey, who checked back in with those two fouls. With the runner, can't get it to go, but Wallace is on spot. Bakari Wallace with eight, leading the Uniontown Red Raiders back to within eight. Murray on top, guarded by Winfrey with those two fouls. 4.56 to go here in the second. Weeks trying to drive on Braxton. Body is himself in there somehow. Has it taken away now by Grooms. Just got himself too far in. Notorious Grooms coast to coast. Now we have a timeout call by Hampton as the Red Raiders made a mini run to cut it to 20 to 14. It's a 30 second timeout. Gives us a chance to hear from some of our sponsors. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is now part of U.S. Digestive Health. If you have a close family member with colon cancer or precancerous polyps, your screening should begin at age 40 instead of 45. Learn more at usdigestivehealth.com. Southwestern Endoscopy Center, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health. So Uniontown with a little bit of a run, gets the score back to within six. And we come out with Hampton possession after the score by Bakari Wallace. Now McNaughton way in the backcourt trying to control it. We'll hand it off to Murray. Murray over to Cole. McNaughton, good pass underneath. Has it knocked away and there's going to be a foul called. I think that's going to be on Grooms. It is. It's going to be his first, team fourth. Just two fouls called on Hampton so far with 4.24 to go here in the second. At the line is the junior, Alex Nialis, and he will not get the roll on that one. Five points in the quarter for Hampton. Four for Uniontown. I'm sorry, six for Uniontown. 
Braxton gets it to McClee now. Wallace for three, had to get it. Macquarie Wallace having a game. Give him nine. Now on defense, Bakari guarding Weeks. Red Raiders fighting back into this game, making it a seven point, I'm sorry, a three point contest. Almost another steal there by McClee. McNaughton looks for the cutters. Uniontown's been cutting off the cutters, though. Two on the way, three on the way by now. Alice Wallace with the rebound. He's doing it on both ends. Braxton now to the hoop. That's going to be a block. No position established that time by Robert Call as Braxton was trying to go baseline. That's going to be the second foul on Call, third team foul. And checking back in is Jaden McKeekin for the Talbots. Brooms gets it in to McClee now. There's Wallace again. Couldn't get that one up to the rim. Back quickly come the Talbots. That's Murray to Weeks for two. Lead back up to five. Now Winfrey gets it back out from McClee. Gets the screen on top. Wallace in the corner again. He's going to let it fly again. This time, offensive rebound. Blocked there by number 10, Murray, as point blank opportunity by Bakari Wallace is blocked away, but out of bounds. Back to Uniontown. Good offensive rebounding, but unable to finish at the hoop that time. 3.06 to go here in the second. Wallace. Skip across to Winfrey, and he's going to have a hold call that time. That's going to be on number 11, McKeekin, his first team fourth. Off the bench is Tanner Uphold checking in now for Braxton. Braxton coming off that injury. Coach Kazmarski not wanted to overdo it with Jameer Braxton. Now to the hoop block that time by Murray. Nowhere to go was Winfrey. Get it ahead to McNaughton. Three on the way. No good. Now in there for the rebound. To the hoop. McNaughton had the rebound. Tried to put it back up. Was fouled. And that's on uphold. His first team fifth. So neither team in the one and one. First opportunity at the line now. I'm sorry, he was two for two so already here. Make it three for three for Liam McNodna has five for the contest. That Laurel Highland score, 45-40 with 9.53 to go in the second. McNodna hits again. So four for four at the line. Smooth for the big man. Wallace thought about going baseline, gets it back out to Winfrey. It's like a box in one now on Grooms as they're trying to get him the ball, but Grooms just keeps moving. Got to be someone else open. Grooms step back three on the way. No good. Rebound to Uphold. He's going to step back for a three and hit it. Tanner Uphold for three. Makes it 24 to 20. Red Raiders keeping it close. Murray to McNogna. Now number 23 is Brock Borgo, who checked in. Junior. Weeks underneath to Murray. That's going to be blocked away by McClee. Winfrey now trying to go. He's going to stop and pop. No good. But McClee with the rebound. McClee gets it back. Slices his way in and up off glass for Calvin Winfrey. His first bucket of the contest. Two-point game. Now Weeks cuts to the hoop, gets the bucket, and it looks like the foul is going to be on Bakari Wallace. Could not follow Weeks into the hoop. Bakari Wallace picks up his first foul, and that's going to be the six-team foul and send Weeks to the line, who now has six. I'm sorry, eight points on the contest and another two at the line. To, I'm sorry, one at the line, trying for the three-point play. 
126 to go. Tavian Richardson checks in. Weeks, this Hampton team is perfect. Is very good at the line, just two shots missed at the line so far. Three on the way and score it for Jeremiah Hager. Comes in off the bench, lets fly, makes it a two point game. McNogna with the pass that time. Point blank, not going to stop that one. Good pass there by McKeekin. Under a minute to go here before halftime. Grooms from way downtown. And McClee with the rebound. Gets it back to Grooms. To the hoop. No good. Tipped around. Controlled by Murray for Hampton. Corner to Weeks. Three on the way. No good. Hager with the rebound. So paying dividends early. Jeremiah Hager gets it to Grooms. Nice pass inside. Grooms to Garner for two. Two-point game again with 18 seconds to go. This is Nialis. Gets it to McKeekin with eight seconds, seven. Now Murray, four seconds. He'll stop and take the long three. And doesn't get the roll. Almost slopped it in. Rolls out, and that'll do it for the first half with our score, Uniontown 29. I'm sorry, Hampton 29, Uniontown 27. We'll be back with halftime activities. Our halftime will be brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Halftime statistics coming your way in just a few minutes. Also, we would like to wish our swimmers good luck at the Whitfield Cup tomorrow. We ask that everybody can stay off until the end of the game while we prepare for the second half of the game. We're back here at Uniontown High School with the halftime activities and halftime statistics. Scoreboard is brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy. Peach and Pharmacy is downtown, is in downtown Connellsville at the Peach and Market. At halftime, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs lead the Highland Rams 45 to 40. And here at Uniontown, it's the Hampton Talbots 29 and the homestanding Uniontown Raiders 27. Scoring in the first half for Hampton, Alex Nialis off the bench with two. Brennan Murray, four in the first, three in the second for his seven. Jaden McKeegan with a three in the first. He has three points. Liam McNogna, two in the first, six in the second, four from the foul line, giving him eight. Eric Weeks with nine, two in the first, and seven in the second. He's five for five from the line for his total of nine. Hampton had 13 in the first, 16 in the second for their total of 29. For the Red Raiders, Notorious Grooms with a bucket in the second for his two. Jeremiah Hager off the bench with a huge three there late in the second for his three points. Calvin Winfrey with a driving hoop for two. Kadrian McClee with a put back for two. Bakari Wallace leading the way for the Red Raiders, four in the first and seven in the second for a total of 11. Levi Garner with a couple of buckets for four. And Tanner Uphold, a three-pointer from the corner for his three. The Red Raiders, eight in the first, 19 in the second for their total of 27. The Red Raiders outscoring the Talbots 19 to 16 in that second quarter to make it a two-point ball game here at the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium, home of the Uniontown 
Red Raiders. About seven minutes away from second half action and tonight's live stream broadcast on WMBS and Trib Live High School Sports Network, a C. Harper Sports Night here on WMBS. Brought to you by Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke. There is nothing better than those winter nights in the gym. Not today, though. 70-degree weather. Looking at an early spring here on March the 1st. And Mayor Bill Gerke looking to get things going here in the city and rooting on the Red Raiders. Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke, during his first term, rehabilitated Bailey Park, started working on the Uniontown section of the Sheepskin Trail, eliminated blight, and rebuilt our neighborhoods. Work has just begun, and that's why Mayor Bill Gerke is announcing his plans to run for a second term as mayor here in the city of Uniontown. This message was paid for by Mayor Bill Gerke. Joby's Golf. Where can you go these days to have your gas pumped for you? Oil checked and windshield cleaned? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is located on the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard in Uniontown. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, general repairs, tire repair, state inspection, and 24-hour AAA towing services. Phone 724-438-0681 for Joby's Golf. Sense Construction Shop. Now the March sale at Zens Construction Warehouse on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Family owned and operated by the Nelson family. Great people, the Nelsons. Zens has everything you need for that next home improvement project at deep discounted prices. Phone 724-366-8274 or visit Zens on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Zen's Construction Warehouse, our surplus is your savings. Zebley, Mahalif, and White are local lawyers handling local problems, where it, whether it's bankruptcy, criminal law, social security disability, or a variety of other legal issues. Zebley, Mahalif, and White provide services aimed to resolve their clients' needs. Phone 724-439-9200. Zero zero or visit zeblaw.com. Just about four minutes away from second half action here with Uniontown scrapping their way back into this one, trailing by as many as 10 in the first half, now only trailing by two as the Red Raiders come back out onto the court to resume their warm-ups for the second half. It's going to be interesting to see if Bakari Wallace can continue his efforts here, having 11 points in the first half. And just one Uniontown Red Raider in foul tr trouble, that's Calvin Winfrey with two. But he came back in in the second quarter and provided much more quality minutes for the Uniontown Red Raiders. On the Hampton side, Robert Cole, Number 33, the starting junior forward, has two fouls on their side. But uh, that's the extent of the foul trouble. No one else with more than one foul. Just four team fouls called on Hampton in the first half. Neither team made it to the one and one So pretty cleanly played game here so far at Uniontown. A couple more of our sponsors here at halftime. Dr. Bob Baker is running for Fayette County Coroner, and he would like your support and wish the Uniontown Red Raiders the best of luck in tonight's playoff game. Dr. Baker has the training, experience, commitment, and dedication to serve as your next Fayette County Coroner. Cherokee Recycling. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till noon. Close Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. And Nate Henning, Magisterial District Just Nate Henning, would like to wish the best of luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders and all of the other local teams. In the playoffs this year, go Red Raiders from 
Magisterial District Judge Nate Henning. Well, Coach Kazmorski has to be a little bit satisfied with the tenacity of the Uniontown team in the second quarter, outscoring the Talbots by three, 19 to 16, getting the bucket to the hoop and getting some second chance opportunities have allowed the Red Raiders to cut into that 13 to eight first quarter lead that was stretched out before the must before the Red Raiders took that little run at the end of the quarter to make it a two point ball game. Injury timeouts are brought to you by the UPMC Centers for Rehab Services, the leaders in physical therapy. Visit physical therapist Jim Burns at 160 Wayland Smith Drive or call 724-437-7500. The Centers for Rehab Services. Relief is closer than you think. Have not had any injury timeouts here so far. Let's hope it stays that way for both squads. Possession will be with the Talbots to begin the third quarter. Coach Lapko with the two-point lead here at halftime. And we'll be looking to try to add on here as the third quarter begins. Being joined here by Ron Delrose at the table. Ready for that horn. Things going okay, Ron? All right. We're all thinking about Jeremy. Yep. Absolutely. Our thoughts are with Jeremy Davis and uh, one of my partners at Davis and Davis. Having a little bit of uh, health problems. Our thoughts and wishes are all with Jeremy. And that allows us to mention Davis and Davis, who represented people and not insurance companies. Our lawyers have experience in litigating or settling personal injury claims, medical malpractice cases, wrongful death action, domestic real estate workers, and all types of legal issues. Contact us at 724-437-2799. Almost a steal there by McClee as we come out here to start the third quarter. Red Raiders trying to even things up, trailing by two, but... Hampton on the offensive side. Motion offense been the staple. Now pass inside to call. Can't get it to the go, but tapped around for the rebound. He'll take it to the hoop and score it this time. So the Red Raiders unable to pull down the rebound. Tipped around, picked up there by Robert Cole and spun it around, flipped it up, got the bucket. And the foul, and that's going to be the second on Garner. Misses on the three-point attempt, though. First bucket of the second half goes to Hampton. Like a triangle and two now here for Hampton as they man up on Grooms and Winfrey. Kari Wallace to the hoop, though. Can't get it to go, and... McNogna with the rebound. Big man underneath. Hampton changing up defenses. We saw man-to-man. -man. We saw boxing one. Now triangle and two. Red Raiders will adjust. Pass the inside underneath again, but unable to finish that time was Weeks. And Garner with the rebound. Wallace to the hoop. Swatted away. Can't get it above McNogna. Paul now has a travel, slip and fall. Coach Lapko thought it was a foul, but it was a slip and fall and a travel call. So turnover back to the Red Raiders, trailing by four, trying to get on the scorebook, into the scorebook here in the third quarter, almost two minutes in. Wallace travels. So turnover back to Hampton. So both teams kind of a little bit out of sync here as we start the third. It's one bucket so far. This is call. Hands off to Murray. Get it underneath. And with the dunk, missed, but gets his own rebound back. 
was McNogna. Wow. Got his own rebound. Coach Kazmarski thought it was a hang on the rim, but no call there. And a three-point attempt by the Red Raiders, no good. Bring it back out now for Hampton. McNogna calling for it underneath, doesn't get the pass. Call to McNogna. Looking inside again. Gets it to Weeks. Guarded there by Wallace. Now McKeekin underneath again. Up and no good call with the rebound. Has it swatted back again. So two attempts rejected there by the Red Raiders. Running the court. Levi Garner gets the Red Raiders on the board here in the third. Impressive running of the court there by Levi Garner. Backdoor move by Call, and he's blocked again. Garner will help Call up, but he blocked it out of bounds. It goes back to Hampton. But Garner play, paying dividends on both ends of the court as Braxton checks in for McLean. Out of bounds underneath. Weeks with the jumper. No good. McDogda with the rebound. Offensive opportunities being piled up here by Hampton, but really nothing to show for it. Just four points in the quarter, but just two for Uniontown. Call has it knocked away. McNogna swing it all the way back out. What looked like a turnover retained by Hampton. They just pop out from those screens and cut through the lane. McKeekin now holds the ball high. Weeks almost lost it. Gets it back now to Murray. Murray being guarded there by Winfrey. Using a lot of time, almost halfway through the quarter, just four points for Hampton and two for Uniontown. Very patient offense here by Hampton. They're not looking to do anything that's not going to be a layup, it looks like. Now, pass inside to McDonough, and it's knocked in there by Levi Garner. Swatted it. But McNaughton will get credit for the hoop. Wow. Six-point advantage again now with four minutes to go here in the third. Laurel Highlands pulling out to a 63-46 to lead now. Braxton trying to go baseline. It's going to be a block call. 33 is call. That's going to be his third, I believe. It is. First team foul for Hampton. Checking out as Garner and McClee back into the game. Substitute now as Alex Nielis will come in for Paul. Wallace in a corner, drives to his right. Loader, no good. McClee with the rebound, he'll finish. Kadrian McClee with four for the contest. Murray trying to go to the hoop. Tied up there by Braxton. They're going to call it travel. Wow. Braxton with the defense. Murray trying to pull the ball away. Did get the ball away, but backed away with two feet. Travel is the call. Turnover. Back to Uniontown, trailing by four. Winfrey, top of the key. Controlling, gets it on. Gets it to an uphold, but that was knocked out of bounds by McNogna. Uphold trying to skip it across there to McClee. Had him open, but could get, couldn't get it past McNogna. Winfrey, corner to uphold, back out to Winfrey. Gets the screen with the runner. Beautiful running one-hander there by Calvin Winfrey. Murray thought about going to the lane, brings it back out. McKeegan, backdoor cut, thought he had McNogna, but over his head, turnover. Back to Uniontown now, trailing by just two. Braxton Easley checks in, is going to give Liam McNogna a quick break here as we come into the final three minutes of the third quarter. Uphold. Broom, handoff to Winfrey. 
Gets a screen from Braxton, goes to his right. Another runner can't get it to go off the iron short. Dialis with the rebound. It's a quality shot for Calvin Winfrey. Just didn't get it to go that time. Now Weeks to the hoop. He's fouled. Braxton will knock him to the ground, pick up his first, and that's going to send Weeks to the line, who's already five for five in the contest. Hampton holding on to a tenuous two-point lead, 35 to 33. Weeks with his first miss at the line. Not happy with himself. Think he wants to make them all. Second one on the way. Off the rim, no good. So uncharacteristic there. Braxton gets it ahead to Grooms. Braxton now underneath the uphold. He'll float it in. Tanner uphold with five. It's tied at 35 here at Uniontown. Timeout call by Coach Lapko for Hampton as the Red Raiders have tied it at 35 with 2.06 to go here in the third. Scoreboard is being brought to you by Peachin's Pharmacy. Peachin's Pharmacy is in downtown Connellsville. Peachin Market. The Mustangs lead 63-46 to starting the fourth quarter across town at Laurel Highlands. 30-second timeout. Goes quickly. Attorney Thomas Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal cases, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. His firm Concentrate in Wills, plus the state's property transfer, personal injury, solar field, and Marcellus Gas negotiations. Attorney Thomas M. Schaefer as Hampton will control here. Coming across there was Paul. Check back in with those three fouls. Could be a five-second call almost. It's to McKeekin. Now Murray. Murray had McLaugh McNaugh, I can't say that. McNogna. Now called down deep. Can it get it to go? Gets his own rebound again. We're gonna have a jump ball foul. No, foul called. Let's see who that's on. That's going to be on Braxton, his second. Team foul number three on the Red Raiders. Just one foul called on Hampton here in the third. Now deep into McDog. Now he has that walked away by McLean. Here comes the Brooms with the step. Can't get it to go over the rim. Notorious at the rim. Did not finish. Back comes Hampton. We're still tied at 35. Good defense there by Uphold. Call looking for a backdoor. McLean now. Now we got a hold. That's going to be on Braxton again. He picks up two quick wins for his third. And that's four team fouls now on Uniontown. Foul off the ball that time. Weeks in the corner guarded by Uphold. McKeekin gets it to call. Cutting his Weeks to the rim. Finish. Eric Weeks, his first two of the second half. Broom for three. Off the rim, no good. Murray with the rebound. Braxton almost picked up his fourth there. So Murray will hold it out now to McNogna. Call on top, guarded by Uphold. Now Weeks. With grooms on him. McKeekin with Braxton. Murray inside again. Call finds the baseline cut and he'll score. Back up by four goes Hampton. 20 seconds to go here in the third. McLean not even looking to shoot. Could turn around and go to the hoop as Winfrey will float one up. McLean with the rebound in the corner to up hole. Gets the roll for three for Tanner Uphold. That hit everything with the rim, the backboard, and all, but ended up falling through for the three-pointer to cut the lead to one. At the end of three, it's Hampton, 39, 
Uniontown 38. We'll be back with fourth quarter action here on WMBS Facebook Live, the Trib Live High School Sports Network, a C. Harper Auto Group Sports Night. First Federal Savings Loan of Greene County, be prepared for the cold with the help of First Federal Savings Loan of Greene County with home improvement loans, a home equity loan, or a home equity line of credit. You can finally upgrade that old furnace, take care of that leaking roof, or replace those outdated floors and windows. Apply online at ffgc.bank, First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County, Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS, number 458-729, as Uniontown will have the possession trailing by one as we go into the fourth quarter. Uniontown with four team fouls, Hampton with just one, but it's a one-point ball game as Grooms will get it to Braxton. Braxton may look for the three himself to the rim. Up off rim, no good, but McClee with the rebound has it blocked by McDogna. Coach Gizmarski calling for a foul, did not get it. Murray now having trouble finding someone, does get it across the way to McKeegan. Murray guarded there tightly by Winfrey underneath again. That baseline cut is amazing. Weeks gets the hoop. And he's going to get a foul called on Notorious Grooms, his second, team foul number five. And that's going to send Weeks to the line after the bucket to try for the three-point play. Weeks converts. So what was a one-point lead now has... A four-point advantage for Hampton, 42-38. to 38. To the rim and foul that time by McNogna. And to the floor hard was Bakari Wallace as bodies went flying. Let's see if Bakari's going to be okay. Looks like he is. He pops up after that hard hit there by McNogna. That's his first foul, team foul number two here in the second half. Going to send Bakari Wallace to the line. Referee's giving Bakari an opportunity to gather himself. He'll have two shots. First one up and no good. So Bakari probably a little shaken after that crash with McNogna. Still sporting those neon shoes. Misses them both. Weeks gets a pass over from McKeek, and now Murray will control on top, being guarded there by Winfrey. A lot of contact, no call. Takes it to the rim. Murray for two. Now a six-point advantage for Hampton. 77-54, Laurel Highlands on top with just 46 seconds to go, and there's a trip. Going to the hoop now again is Murray, and he got it knocked away. Winfrey with the steal. Get it to Bakari. To the rim, no good. Good stand still there by McDogna. That's a tough duty for Bakari Wallace to go to the hoop against McNogna. And now we have it dribbled out of bounds by Hampton. Referees get together and make the right call for Uniontown possession across the way right in front of their bench. Uniontown needing to find some points here in the fourth quarter. Minute and a half in, nothing on the board. That brings in Hager. Winfrey doing it himself, short again. And that presence underneath of McNogna really makes it difficult to get that ball high enough off the banking board to score for the Red Raiders. This is Call looking for a help. Gets it to McNogna as Garner sags off him. This is Weeks, guarded by Grooms. 
Murray stolen away that time by Winfrey again. Quick hands. Brooms underneath. Knocked out of bounds, but stays with the Red Raiders. Good idea that there by Bakari. Tried to get it to Garner. Streaking to the hoop. Checking in for Hampton. Alex Nialis, junior guard. Baseline out of bounds. Garner will shoot the baseline jumper. No good. McNogna with the easy rebound. Red Raiders yet to score. Weeks. Get to McNogna and he's fouled. It might be on Garner. If it is, it'll be his third. But they're going to call it on Hager. So that's just his first. Team foul number six is going to put McNogna at the line. Four. Make that 13 points now for McNogna. He's five for five at the line. Misses his second, though. They get the rebound, however. Murray now controlling. Red Raiders need to control that board on a foul shot. Unable to do that on the short shot by McNogna. Dallas looking, looking, looking. Finds weak. Stolen away. Bakari Wallace. He'll score it. Bakari with the steal and the bucket. Whistle as he lost his shoe on the the neon green shoe fell off, but he took it to the rim anyway. That'll be a highlight reel. First two points for Uniontown here in the fourth quarter. Makes it 45 to 40. McKeegan now. Murray gets it to call. McNogda way out on top on the left wing. Gets it to call. Guarded there by Hager. In the corner, Murray. And it's going to be a timeout call by Coach Joe Lafko for the Hampton Talbots. Let's see what we got. The full timeout will be back here in 60 seconds after a few words from our sponsors here on WMBS, the C. Harper Sports Night on WMBS, Facebook Live, and the Trib Live High School Sports Network, Trib Total Media. Top to February and March sale now at Zen's Construction Warehouse on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Family owned and operated by the Nelson family. Zen's has everything you need for that next home improvement project at deep discounted prices. Phone 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's on Walnut Hill Road in Uniontown. Zen's Construction Warehouse. Our surplus is your savings. Nate Henning, Magisterial District Judge Nate Henning, would like to wish the best of luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders and all of our local teams in the playoffs, PIAA and WPIL. Stepping out of bounds is McNogna, so turnover back to Uniontown, trying to cut into this 45-40 to 40 lead. Just two points in the quarter for Uniontown, but on the other side, seven points for Hampton. I'm sorry, six points for Hampton. Winfrey now looking for help. Gets it in the form of uphold on top to Notorious Grooms. Grooms goes for the long three. Off the rim, no good. Tracked down there by Murray for Hampton. So Grooms unable to find the range from long Three-point area. Dogged it over to Murray. That baseline cut. Now we're going to have a hold here on uphold. It's going to be one and one. 
That's going to be hit the second on uphold, 17 foul. Just two fouls called on Hampton in this half. The disciplined squad, and that's going to put number 11, Jaden McKeegan, at the line. Just three points on a three-pointer in the first for McKeegan. One and one. It's the first. Another opportunity at the line to add to a six-point lead now for Hampton. Second one on the way and good also. Checking back in for Uniontown will be Kadrian McClee and Coach Kesmarski is going to call a full, full timeout. 30-second timeout, beg your pardon. This timeout's brought to you by Two Hands Wash and Fold in Uniontown's newest wash and fold laundry service. Full scale washing and dry cleaning service located on East Fayette Street in Uniontown. Two Hands also features a boba tea lounge, coffee bar, and game room. Phone 724 557 1571 for Two Hands Wash and Fold with delivery and pickup available. All State Agent. Russ Blaho for a free quote for home and car insurance near you, located on Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown. Call Russ, Russ Blaho at 724-439-9700. Remember, you're in good hands with Russ Blaho and Allstate. Uniontown needs some scoring as Uphall will take the three. No good. Wallace with the rebound. Tries to weave his way around the trees. Gets it up, and he's fouled. So Bakari Wallace. His normal workmanlike manner will go to the line now to shoot two. And that foul is called on McNogna, his second. Wallace misses the first. 0 for 3 at the line now for Bakari. 3.45 to go in the contest. Seven point lead for Hampton as Bakari does hit the second as all three of Uniontown's points here in the quarter. Murray now double team. That's going to be a hold on Bakari Wallace as he tackled Murray. Bakari picks up his second, and that's going to send Murray to the line. He looked like Bakari might have had to steal, but at the last second just put his hands around the waist of Murray and drug him down, so had to call that foul. It's 18 fouls on Uniontown, just three on Hampton as Murray will be at the line for his first opportunities tonight. He'll hit excellent foul shooting by the Talbots. Nineteen foul shots, just three misses. Make it twenty foul shots, just three misses for Hampton. In the corner now is Uphold, gets it back out to Winfrey. Winfrey will stop and pop for three, no way off. McNogna with the rebound, gets it over to Murray. Murray now in the middle to call. Grooms all over him. And they're going to have a foul call there. I think that's going to be on Grooms. It is. It's going to be his third. Team foul number nine. 319 to go. Hampton now with the opportunity to rack up points at the foul line. Next one will be double bonus as Paul hits the first. Deadly at the foul line, this Hampton Talbot team. There's three points in the quarter for Uniontown. And another rebound off a foul shot by Murray. And we're going to have a foul call there on Wallace. Just a grab. That's on Bakari Wallace. His third, team 10, so it will be in a double bonus the rest of the way for Hampton. Just three fouls called on Hampton in this half.
Murray two for two in this quarter. Two for two in the game. Make it three for three. Five and a quarter, 12 for the contest for Brennan Murray. Garner will check back in for Bakari Wallace. Murray hits again. Winfrey bringing it ahead, now trailing by nine. Gets it up to the rim and score it. Calvin Winfrey with the bucket. Cuts it to nine. Three minutes remaining. Order now is Murray. Double team skips it all the way across the weeks. Weeks out to McKeekin. They're going to take time off the clock now. Leading by nine. McKeekin. They're going to use time for sure. Murray over to Weeks. Weeks to McNogna. Inside. Easy layup for Call. They'll take the layup and now lead by 11. 54-43, Winfrey now trying to do it himself, gets it in the corner to Garner for three, no good. Uphold with the rebound, Winfrey for three. Off the side of the banky board, no good. Murray with the rebound, he's tied up. They're going to be a foul called. Foul's called on Garner. That's going to be his third. And another double bonus opportunity for Murray at the line. That's 2.14 to go. Red Raiders unable to find any offensive punch here in the fourth quarter. It's five points as Murray misses his first foul shot. Hager checks in for McClee. Murray gets the second to roll. Grooms looking for some three-point action. Gets a nice pass underneath the uphold. Grooms to uphold for two. Full court pressure now. Grooms providing it against McKeekin and has it stolen off the foot of McKeekin. He too much dribbling across the way as Grooms took advantage of that to knock it off his foot. Trailing by 10. Still 157 to go here. Three on the way, no good. Fight for the rebound. That's going to be a jump ball. Good hustle both ways. McNogna and Garner. Possession to the Talbots. Ball triggering it in. Looking, looking. Going to throw it away. That's Winfrey with the steal. Cross to Grooms. Corner to Uphold for three. Way off. No good. Murray is hammered by... Garner from behind. That's going to be his fourth. Going to put Murray at the line again with 1.45 to go here in the fourth quarter. So Murray will be at the line. He is four for five at the line all here in the fourth quarter. It's the first one to roll over the top of the rim. So Murray with 15. Give him 16. Six for seven at the line here in the fourth. Uphold back to Winfrey. All the way across to Hager. He'll launch a long three. In and out. McNogg does strong rebound. Once again, with a minute 33 to go, get it ahead to call. Murray now to Weeks. Murray up on top again. No foul call there. Uphold now trying to guard on McKeek, and he's going to take it to the rim, gets it back out to McDonald. No need to shoot if you're the Talbots at this point. Up by 12 with a one minute to go in the period. Uniontown may be content to not foul here now, trailing by 10. Weeks, double team in the corner. Nope. Get it to Murray. Almost got away with the travel there. 
Weeks trying to get it to the rim. Left hand no good. Not sure why he takes that shot. Brooms to the rim. Nothing. Winfrey with the putback. 29 seconds to go. No need to shoot now if you're Hampton and fouling there is Winfrey. That's going to be his third, I believe. And going to put Murray at the line again. Six for seven at the line, all here in the fourth quarter. 15 points for him. Deadly at the line, these Hampton Talbots. Twenty-eight foul shots taken by Hampton here this evening. Murray misses the second, but gets his own rebound again. They're going to let it run out now, I would think, with 18 seconds to go. All the way in the corner to checked in was number five. That's Keegan Thompson. Also number 23, Brock Borgo. And number 30, Braxton Eastley. No reason to foul at this point as time runs out. And the Uniontown Red Raiders fall to the Hampton Talbots, 58 to 47 here at Uniontown. And we're going to be back with post-game activities brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon. Running again for South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon. We'll be back with those statistics in just a few minutes here on the Sea Harper Sports Night on WMBS and the Trib Total Media. Here's our here's our final statistics here. The post game show being brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon for the Hampton Talbots. Victorious here this evening over the Uniontown Red Raiders. Alex Nialis with two. Brennan Murray with 10 points in the fourth quarter. Eight of those coming from the foul line for 17 for him. Jaden McKeegan with five. Liam McNognan, the big man underneath, with 13. Eric Weeks with 14. And Robert Call with seven for their total this evening. For the Uniontown Red Raiders, Notorious Grooms with two. Jeremiah Hager with a three-pointer for three. 
Calvin Winfrey with eight, Kadrian McClee with four, Bakari Wallace leading the way with 14, Levi Garner with six, and Tanner Uphold with 10 points for the Uniontown Red Raiders, finishing with 47 points. So the Uniontown Red Raiders fall, and they'll have to wait to see where they'll be placed in the PIAA playoffs. And the Hampton Talbots, with the win, will stay a little bit closer to home in their game in the PIAA playoffs. So both teams will be look, waiting to see where they fall for the PIAA playoffs. So you've been watching another C. Harper Auto Group High School Sports Night exclusive digital coverage of Uniontown Red Raider boys basketball on the WMBS Facebook page and the Trib Live High School Sports Network, which has been brought to you by Davis & Davis, Attorneys at Law, George Dental Associates, SWGI in Uniontown, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the Centers for Rehab Services and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides, Attorney Thomas Schaefer, Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke, Joby's Golf, Zen's Construction Warehouse, Russ Blaho, your local Allstate insurance agent, Dr. Bob Baker, candidate for Fayette County Coroner, Peachin's Pharmacy in Connellsville, Cherokee Recycling, Autoland Hyundai, the law offices of Zebley, Mahalaf and White, Two Hands Wash and Fold, Magisterial District Judge Nate Henning, Sandy Howe Notary Services, Z's Ground Control, and Big Al's Market. Join us again next time for high school basketball here on WMBS and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. This has been Gary Frankhauser and Billy Dice. Good night, everyone.